Okay, this one's on assorted drivers. Uh, in an earlier video, I talked about Phillips drivers and slot drivers and so on. Uh, this is about more for power drivers than anything else and ratchets. Uh, this is a driver here and you pull it out it's magnetic uh, it just pops in uh, this is a quarter inch drive here that you can put in any drill or driver assembly uh, one of the kind of defects with this thing is it uh, if the driver sticks it, this will pull out and you'll lose it uh, there are some that lock in I've had various luck with uh, lock-in type drivers some work pretty good some not so good uh, however I wanted to go over what was kind of the uh, I guess you'd almost say the evolution of these things you know originally we had slot heads and then we had Phillips Phillips was self-centering had uh, four points of contact instead of two like a slot head did it was better but we they still cammed out a lot now camming out means it's simply let's see if I can show it camming out uh, okay this one is uh, a Phillips in a, in a uh, screw and if you're let's say you're trying to take this thing out it will cam out meaning it kind of pops up like that and then drops back down and of course if that's in a power driver it's just going to chew the heck out of the Phillips on the screw something fierce so uh, camming out is our biggest problem with these and the Phillips did have a problem with camming out quite a bit uh, so they came up with other styles and I'm going to show you a couple of styles Okay, another one that was real common, uh, I first saw it in the late 70s, I'm sure it was be around before that, it's the recessed square. Uh, and it was kind of neat. Now you look at that, you can see it's just a square head. Well, the square head seemed to have less problem with camming out than the, uh, than the Phillips did. Uh, this is all around pretty good driver. Now this is a small one. I actually don't know what the sizes are. This says it's an S1 or an S2. I'm not sure which. Uh, more common one you'll see is this one. Yeah, it says R3 on it. And of course, it's a bigger uh, driver. Still not the easiest thing to see. Anyway, it's a square, a recessed square. And those didn't cam out as bad. Uh, however, I think probably the best one of the bunch is the Torx. Okay, now this one's a Torx. Uh, you can see it's got a whole bunch of contacts, and it's got like, what, uh, five. There's, uh, instead of having four like a Phillips, it's got five, or four like a uh, square head, it's got five. These seem to hold really well. Uh, if you've got a good down pressure on your drill and you're fairly square, by the way, if you drive any of these drivers crooked, they will cam out. Uh, but this would do pretty good. Uh, this one here is an example of one on a uh, 3 8 drive socket set, which is kind of a neat thing to have. Because there's a number of different sizes of this thing. Now there's a view of a whole kit of these things from the little bitty one down here on up to the uh, larger size. Maybe T50. No, I don't know. It's a T50. And then the little one down here goes down to a T15. So there's a whole bunch of different ones for this. These are really pretty good drivers. Uh, I'm pretty amazed at how well they will. Uh, drive without camming out. Uh, you know, sometimes I've driven three and a half, four inch screws with those things, uh, even in the smaller sizes, and 
pretty good. Pretty good. Now you can fit any of those into this driver here like that and uh, you can put it in a drill or a uh, manufactured driver. Uh, one of the problems, like I said, this is magnetic so you, they pull out all the time. Okay, one of the ways you can avoid those things popping out all the time is you can use a driver. Now that's a little cheapy Ryobi. Actually, it's been a pretty good little driver. Um, not for big stuff, it's all for little stuff. But if you put it in like that, it locks and it won't pop out. That's kind of neat. So uh, you'll see a lot of those used. And they make drivers now that are just drivers, not drills or anything. They're just drivers, but they're big and they've got enough power to push into big screws. Uh, so pretty much the gamut is slot head, Phillips, square head, two different sizes of square head, and the uh, Torx. And the Torx, uh, I don't know if there's anything smaller than that T15. There might be. Uh, but I haven't really had any uh, that I uh, that I've found. Uh, you'll need a bunch of these stupid things. You're always losing them. So I never buy more less than four or five of each one, unless I'm doing like the socket set there. Uh, keep a bunch of them. I've probably got 20 of these drivers floating around someplace, and I can usually find one or two of them typical. Uh, anyway, that's the different drivers. I'll talk about power drivers, uh, uh, the drills and so on in another video.